Good morning everyone and welcome to another day in the life, seeing what I get up to, sharing all the things. Um, I'm just drinking my coffee. It is a sunny day out today, which makes me happy. I'm always happy when it's sunny. Even if it's sunnier and colder, I like that better than like warmer and cloudy and rainy. So um, yeah, I'm about to shower, wash my hair because you know, life things. So today I'm just gonna take you through like what I'm getting up to, we're probably gonna make, I'm gonna make healthy chicken tenders tonight. I am so excited. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I made these the other day on a whim. Like I made the combo of like the breading and everything, like just trusted my instincts. They are insane. Like I was floored. I wish I could, I should have like recorded my reaction, but I didn't think I was gonna have like such a profound reaction, um, but they are so good. We're gonna make those tonight. I need to go get, groceries um i tend to get groceries on saturdays i don't know why but that's like my weekly i go get all my groceries on that day so i'll show you a grocery haul um and yeah we'll kind of just like hang out together today so i wanted to show you guys the yogurt bowl i made for breakfast because guys look how delicious it is i did some dairy-free coconut yogurt spoonful of nut butter grain-free granola and some bloobs I am like so ready to dig into this. I've been obsessed with yogurt bowls lately. So I just finished my mini workshop series. Um, if you didn't know, I host a series called Live Well on Saturdays this month. And each week we dive in and talk about stuff. Um, you know, this week was cutting sugar. So they're like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour long. And I talked all about sugar, quitting sugar, strategies to quit. Next week we are talking about um, how to get clear skin. So how to get clear glowing skin. So if that's something you're interested in um, and you'd like to reserve your spot, I will leave the link for that down below. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but I'm at that point where I'm like hungry. I could probably wait, but I probably wanna eat before I go grocery shopping so that I don't buy, you know, the whole store. So we're gonna make some avocado toast. And as you guys know, I am like mostly grain free. Like when I say that like I'm paleo, I would say that it's like 90, 95%. Um, and the like, five percent is usually my Saturday morning avocado toast. Um, it's something I like to do on Saturday mornings is I have avocado toast um, because it's you know some grains. I always eat gluten free though. It's just this is gluten free sourdough bread. So I don't buy like the heavily processed ones. I get this one from a great local bakery. Um, if you're in Toronto, it's called Cockadoodle Doo, um, and they make a gluten free vegan sourdough and it is. So delicious it's made with all great ingredients um and it's really clean supports local so that's like my little my little treat is like this is my idea of a treat because i feel like you guys ask me if i have treats my treat is my gluten-free um sourdough because it's not grain free it's only gluten free and grains can be inflammatory so i do avoid them most of the time so we are going to make some avocado toast i'm so excited uh i have a perfectly ripe avocado and it is a super, like, it's a good size avocado, as you see. It's just like, it's good. Let's go ahead and make, I think I'm gonna do CD. Ooh, do I want CD avocado toast or plain? I feel like I just want, I feel like it's just a plain, maybe it's a CD. I don't know. We will see in this clip um, whether I put seeds on it or not. These are the tough decisions. I'm really bad at making decisions, guys. It's one of my, the things I, like, I struggle with is making decisions, even about small stuff like this. can tell I decided on CD avocado toast I like it because it adds a crunch plus we have omega-3s from the chia and hemp hearts and we also have pumpkin seeds which have zinc which is great for your immune system and all that kind of stuff so super tasty and delicious so we're done avocado toast I'm gonna go get to some groceries for the week um, I like to go to this like little local market to get most of my produce um, and then I go to like the official supermarket to get like a good quality meat um, But it's really important to support local so if you find like little local stores 
stores selling produce and things like that, I really encourage you to shop there because they need our support right now too. So it's a nice day, but I think I need a jacket because it's a bit windy and we're gonna have like a nice walk there and that way I can get like some exercise and some movement in for the day. So I'm back from grocery shopping. It is really nice outside. I had to actually put my hair up because I was getting so hot. But I'm gonna give you guys like a little mini haul. I have been trying to eat things from my fridge, not fridge, freezer and pantry. Um, so I didn't get too many things and I had some things left over. But um, I got some organic kale, a uh, baby kale just for salads. I got some um, blueberries. These are just some organic blueberries. I can't believe I got this whole tub of organic blueberries for two dollars it was at the local place like it's actually so good um i also got a couple lemons lemons i like um lemon water or just squeezing on top of things i got some chicken which is for our healthy chicken tenders tonight uh, I got some rice cauliflower when I went to stop to get the meat. I got some rice cauliflower I like this as a quick side um, It's also good in smoothies. It blends really really nice. I got some bananas because I'm making um, any bananas for one of my healthy dessert recipes that I'm filming this week I got two Japanese sweet potatoes. I love those for um, just like baking in the oven, as you guys know, but Japanese, I prefer um, to the orange ones. I just find that they're less sweet. And then I got broccoli. Broccoli is probably my, my favorite vegetable, um, and that's it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put these away. I have to upload a video. It is a what did I eat in a day, which if you haven't seen it, I will link the down below. It would be the video before this one, so I will link that. Um, but I also want to wash my towels and wash my sheets. So we're gonna put those in the washing machine, upload a video. So my sheets are done and on the bed. Um, if you're wondering why this pillowcase is black, um, it's a silk pillowcase, which is really good for your hair. Uh, I have curly, like more frizzy hair, so I find that this helps um, keep my hair silky, so that's why I sleep on a black pillowcase. But yeah, I'm so excited for tonight because then my sheets will be all nice and cozy and fresh. So it's time for dinner. I got out the stuff. We are going to make some crispy chicken tenders. They're paleo, delicious. And guys, the crust on these, the flavor, the moisture, the juiciness, I don't know. They're insane. I cannot believe, like I just made this up on a whim and it worked so well. So I'm gonna have that um, with some broccoli. I don't know, I'm feeling broccoli. I could have had zucchini, but I feel like I wanna save the zucchini to make some sort of like zoodle pasta type thing. So I'm gonna save the zucchini. We're gonna have some of the broccoli that I bought today with the chicken fingers. And I'm really looking forward to it because I don't know, I'm hungry. We haven't eaten since uh, we had the avocado toast. So, so I have some chicken like into strips. I gotta just cut up some fillets into smaller pieces. Um, the secret is a 50-50 ratio of tapioca to almond flour, meaning you need for every, like I use two tablespoons and two tablespoons, um, that would be like 50-50, half and half an egg to dredge and then I add in um, some smoked paprika and garlic powder to the, the flour mixture but you can add in whatever spices you like and of course I add in a little salt. So I do that and then I cook them on the pan with some avocado oil which I mean I will show you and yeah let's let's get to cooking some dinner. This is how they turned out. As you can see, they are super crispy. I cannot wait. My broccoli is done. We, you know, we have crispy chicken, we have broccoli. We have a good dinner right here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to dig in. 
watching Money Heist right now. I've gone through the whole thing, so I kind of just put it on from the, the start to watch it again because I don't know what else to watch, so. We're gonna eat some dinner and rewatch Money Heist. If you have any Netflix recommendations of like binge-worthy shows, definitely uh, leave them for me. So I'm partway through eating, but I wanna show you guys the inside cause like they're so crispy on the outside and so like moist and tender on the inside. They're so good. So I'm just ordering a couple of things off of Costco's website. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but that's where I get a lot of my pantry items um, and like things that I'm baking with. And I just wanna show you guys. But I get one kilo, uh, 1.36 kilograms, which is a huge bag. Um, for $22, which is crazy. And this also goes for like their almond butter, chia seeds, things like that. Um, they're all like a super good price. I would say like the small bag that you would get of almond flour at the grocery store, um, that's like $20 by itself. I would say there's like five, closer to four or five of those in here. So it's a really good buy. You don't even need to be a member to buy it. So that's always where I get my almond flour and a lot of my pantry staples. So I wanted to share that. So I'm done work for the night. I just had some Smart Sweets. These are really good. Um, I like the sour ones. They are, they taste like candy. Um, they taste like sour gummy bears, but they're made with better for you ingredients. Um, there's only three grams of sugar per bag. Um, and they are, there's no like weird ingredients. There's just like tapioca, chicory, gelatin, um, and that's it. No artificial stuff. Peanut tree nut free, high in fiber, 28 grams of fiber, making the net carbs on this like seven, which is like really good for a whole bag of, of candy. So I'm gonna do that and watch some Netflix. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. The chicken tenders, highly recommend. Um, I'm probably gonna have them for dinner again tomorrow because they were really good. I will leave my last day in the life or what I ate in a day um, on the screen here so you can check that out after this. Let me know what kind of like recipes and content you guys wanna see right now um, in the comments so that I can do that for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.